Hello everybody and welcome to my first video tutorial. I'm going to cover perspective in the first few because I believe those are the essential building blocks to learning how to draw and make it look more realistic. Um, so without further ado, without stalling too long, I'm just going to go right into the exercise and please follow along the exercise as best as you can. Um, unlike other videos, I'm not going to explain too much about the mechanics or the theory behind it. I'm just going to show you the exercise, you copy it, you change it, make it your own, but you keep the core ideas of it. And when you do that, you're going to learn and understand how perspective works on your own. Of course, if you always have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them as a comment and I will try to answer them the best I can. So let's get started. And what we're going to do first is we're going to draw a square. Right, and my square isn't perfect and yours doesn't have to be either. We're gonna draw lots and lots and lots of squares and they're gonna be all imperfect and we're gonna be okay with that, all right? So you're gonna draw a square as best you can. You're gonna draw another square inside that square and you might be tempted to use a ruler that will take up too much time. Learn to freehand and you will improve your freehand skills at the same time. And from here, you're gonna take the corners of each square and you're gonna link them up like this with a line. Okay, easy. Now we're gonna draw this sort of shape, which is called a cube in 3D space, but we're just gonna draw a square like that, but we're gonna do it slightly differently. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line above it, and some of you already, already figured out what this exercise is, and if, if you have, please move on to the other videos or keep watching if you like hearing my voice. So you're gonna draw a line above that line all right, and we're gonna draw a type of square, so it's not gonna be a straight up and down square, it's gonna be a slightly slanted square like this, and this is called a trapezoid in 2D space. And from here, we're gonna draw the same square, but we're gonna just draw it behind. And how we do it, how we draw behind, is we just offset it. So from here, this is our square. So let's say this line is gonna come down here, and this line is gonna come down here and these lines are just going to connect up just like before and then we have our square behind very simple right and then you're going to connect those two lines together you're going to connect all those corners together and then you have a cube in 3d space on an angle and then we can do the same thing we're going to do it four times three more times from now so you're going to take this side and you're going to do it down here draw a square draw a trapezoid Okay, then you draw the same trapezoid down below. You move this line down here, you move this line down here, and then you connect the lines together, and you connect the corners together. All right, and then you've drawn another cube. And so you're gonna do the same thing over here. Don't worry if they're not perfect, that's not the intention of this. We're just learning how to draw in 3D space a bit better. And then we join up the lines. Right, and then we're going to do it on this side. And this line goes here. Oops. And if you do things out of order because you're trying to go fast, don't worry about that. As long as you get the shape down in the end, that's all that really matters. Okay, and then we have four, five cubes. And then we're going to do four more one two three four and the way we drew those we're going to do it slightly differently so we're going to draw the same line here but what we're going to do from here is we're going to make the distance this distance a lot smaller all right and then when we do that it looks like it's pointing up more and then we can do the same thing down below so we're going to draw the same square down below. And as you see, I even increase the distance between the squares. They're not even touching. They're not even intersecting like this one. And then we draw the corners connecting just like before. So draw this line, draw this line really close. Then you draw those two lines. Then you draw this one and this one. And then you connect those two lines. And 
you connect the corners. Now, you're going to be doing this all the way around, and if you get confused, if you're getting confused about which line belongs to which, I encourage you to use different colors. If you got colored pencils, markers, whatever, use those as well because they'll help you figure out where your lines should be. Or which line, which line belongs to which cube. And if you like the way that I'm speaking, so I do, I'm going to do this one slightly different. Uh, you're go I'm going to use this way. All right. So you can do it like that if you understand what's going on already. That's a different way of doing it. Um, that's a more f efficient way for your brain to do it. But right now we're just going to make this really easy for your brain to understand. We're going to draw. Every, we're going to draw these ones next. And to do that, we're going to just take these lines here and we're going to copy them. We're just going to move them slightly, offset them, and then we're going to copy them across. And then to get these lines, these two lines, you're going to make it parallel. So try and get them going in the same direction as this one. This one, this one, this one, this one. All right. And then you're going to do the same thing behind. And then connect the corners. Okay, and then we're gonna go around and do this with the rest of them. If you like the way that I'm speaking, please let me know. If you would like me to use a lower register like this, um, I'm only happy to. It might be a bit off-putting, it might be really funny. Uh, I might try and talk like this for a whole session. That might be very difficult, we'll see. But if you want me to talk in a higher voice too, I can do that as well, but that might get really, really, really annoying. So please let me know in the comments if you like the way I'm presenting this or if you'd like um, a different way, if you want me to speed up or slow down, please let me know. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna fill in these gaps here. Just checking time. Awesome, we've got plenty of time. All right, so you're going to do the same idea. You're gonna make this line and this line the same. You're gonna make them parallel, and then you're gonna make these parallel, and then you're gonna draw the square down below. Connect the corners. Awesome. Oops. See, we had a mistake here. We live with that. We live by that. We call it a practice. It's awesome. That gives us license to do whatever we want with it. And we're gonna do the same thing down below. And guess what? Even if it's a little bit off, it doesn't look that bad, right? So, uh, don't be afraid of your mistakes. Your mistakes are what make you. Your mistakes will actually become what your style will be, all right? Style is just a bunch of mistakes or what we consider mistakes, things that don't look quite right, but we do them, it becomes part of the way we draw, and then that's what defines us. It's weird, isn't it? But we can't be afraid of them. Can't be afraid of our mistakes. You gotta just live with them, you gotta love them, you gotta die by them. <clears throat> so we're gonna do the same thing on the sides here. Just checking time. All right, just gonna go a little bit faster. So I'm using my knowledge of perspective to draw, uh, draw it in a slightly different way. And if you like the way that I'm doing it here, you can also try that too. All right. I wouldn't recommend that if you're just starting because it won't quite make sense. Uh, not until you understand uh, vanishing points. So I'm going to try and go back to the original method here. But just know that these methods, there are other methods that exist. So these ones right on the corners, they're gonna, they're gonna be the trickiest. They're gonna be the closest together. And this one is probably, the, these two are the best examples of that. So that is the sphere cube. And you're gonna every day try and draw the exact same thing every day. Now you can change it up and make it your own. And uh, what you can do is you can kind of shade the bottom part to get a better indication. If you want to choose a light source, you can shade things in if that makes it easier for you. You can change up the exercise however you want, but you, the essential idea is to draw this sort of 
cube sphere. And when you can do that, you're going to get a clear understanding of how perspective works in the next exercises. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and please leave a comment down below.